Hi floppy cutters, we got something new in the mail today and this one I actually bought off of Amazon. This is a Litter Genie XL and the reason I wanted to buy this and check it out is because I don't get great responses from Litter Genie. It's very, obviously, it's a huge company and they just don't respond. So not one of the reasons I like to work with big companies because of that problem. But the reason I wanted to check this out is because so many readers have contacted me. The original Litter Genie, or the one that you can find in stores right now, I don't care for. But the Litter Locker, which is their sister company that sells only in Canada and Europe, I really do like the Litter Locker Plus that we reviewed. So this one looks to be more similar to that um, when I looked at it online. So let's pull it out and see if that's the case. So far it is, let me see. Yeah, I mean, it is dang near the same design as the Litter Locker Plus. I wanted to see too if the refills that I love, that are like aftermarket refills fit in here because a lot of people ask me on my YouTube videos if they'll fit in there. So this is gonna pop off like the litter locker. And then it looks like refills are gonna be the same, which I bet they're inside there, yep. And they are the same. Here's what's inside. You have the litter scoop holder, which can either go on this side or this side. So that just depends on like how your litter box situation is set up. And then you can put the litter scoop in there. I actually don't care for these litter scoops. They're a horrible design in my opinion. So um, I prefer to use a litter lifter. So I buy a 3M hook and then attach my litter lifter on the side of it. And then here are the refills. So if we close this up, pull out the door, and then that sits nicely in there. And it's the same one, folks. So the XL, again, is gonna be more like the Litter Locker than the Litter Genie, the Litter Locker Plus. And then obviously it's endorsed by Jackson Galaxy, so it's got that going for it. And then it's got 50% it will hold 50% more. It's a lot taller. I'll go grab my litter locker so you can see. There's the height comparison between the litter locker. This one was called the Design Plus because you can put the little sleeve on it. But as you can see, it's still the same height. It's just that little extra base has been added on. So this portion here is what they extended, but it is the same design as the litter locker. And you'll see this one says Litter Genie, this one says Litter Locker. Here is the 3M hook with my litter lifter on the side. So I'll include a link to that in the about section below if you're interested. I keep the litter scoop and holder on the side because I review so many products that oftentimes it's just easier when I give it away to give away the whole thing. But otherwise I'd probably just recycle it. Now, one of the most difficult things for folks with the Litter Genie and the Litter Locker are the bags and how to prepare the refills and all that sort of thing. So I have done footage of this over and over again, so I'm gonna include that now from previous videos so you can check it out. So to start out, you want to get the litter refill ready. That I might not be following the exact instructions they have, but there's this little tab here and you just pop that off to reveal the plastic bag that you're going to use. Sometimes that plastic bag, you wanna make sure you find the end of it because it's one continuous bag. There we go. So you leave that there, open up the top here, and then you have to pull up this part because the refill is gonna drop in here like that. But before you drop it in there, you pull it out enough so that you can make a knot. Somebody told me that they like to use a zip tie at the bottom of it, like a cable tie, um, to not use as much of, of the bag that you would tie in a knot. But this knot is what's gonna keep all of the feces and whatnot in the unit itself. So then you open up the latch door 
and push this down and then close this off and it is ready to use as a trash can if you choose or as a litter disposal as far as how it works let's pretend like this is a big clump of urine or something like that so you're going to open it up put the clump in and then open this up and that's going to seal off the smell and everything from your nostrils then you're going to close that up and once it's full once you know you filled it up then you just pop this open you take this and there's a little thing that cuts off the bag here so you slide that underneath and that's your waste bag and then you pull this out as you might have seen i pulled this out a little bit before i pulled the bag through because one time i did that and it cut the plastic on the bag making it useless so i always pull out this little trap door thing first and then you're ready for the next round of use now i've got a little bit of litter on this one but so this bag is ready to go and these are these aftermarket refills that I really like, and I'll include a link to those if you want to buy them. This is the brand new one that I pulled the top off of, but haven't extended the bag yet because I'm not ready to use that bag. I'm gonna show you how the Furic maybe ones work. Now you can see that this one doesn't have this little container to hold the refills, but let's see if it fits anyway. All right, I shoved the bag down in there. Oh, maybe it won't fit. Oh, those tricky little devils. They definitely made sure so that this one wouldn't fit. But I wonder, wonder if you cut that out with a utility knife, if it would work just fine. They totally didn't design it that way so that so that only their refills would fit because it has that angle right there and these do not have that angle so that they'll fit more bags but look if you see this little ledge right here this little ledge it's the exact same so as long as you cut this out which is what's blocking this from sitting fully down in there then you're good to go or you could just have it like that and you know it's gonna cut it off just take the lid off entirely and don't even use the lid and then you can use these refills without cutting out that inside part because i guess i should show you what i mean there this which is the one that came inside of here fits totally fine in there and it's ready to go so and so does and this one as you saw fits in there but doesn't fit in here because of this ledge that this one is supposed to sit on, but really doesn't need to sit on because it's already sitting on there when it's in like that. It doesn't need the ledge that they created based on my experience because right here it doesn't have the ledge other than this really thin kind of gutter area that it sits on. All right, guys, that does it. I'm not gonna do a review on this because obviously I have other reviews on YouTube. You can literally just check out the review that I did for this Litter Locker Design Plus, and then you'll have an idea of whether or not the Litter Genie XL will work for you, because all the only difference, honestly, that I have figured out is that it has the, this extra space that this one doesn't, and that's why it's you know, sold for multi-pet homes we'll take cat homes this is the other thing because of this ledge you have to like make sure that this part which is the part where you start the bag fits or is right here because that's the only way that the lid is going to close down if you decide you want to use their refills which of course cost more money and of course don't last as long as the aftermarket ones that I showed you in there. I would like to add that I'm glad that they brought the Litter Locker Plus design to the United States because I think it was really needed. I cannot stand the Litter Genie regular size one. I really, really dislike it. And 
I hated how much that I could say that I love the Litter Locker Plus design, but wasn't able to help U.S. Um, readers and owners access it. I mean, some people bought it from Germany. I mean, I just felt really bad. So that is the nice thing that they've brought the Litter Locker design to the United States in the Litter Genie XL. Also, I just opened up this whole thing and checked this out, and this is all attached, and it's pretty amazing. They literally just added that and I used to work for a roofing manufacturer that made plastic roof shingles and you know creating plastic molds is very expensive like tens of thousands of dollars can be hundreds of thousands of dollars so it's pretty smart on their part just to bring the litter locker design to the United States and then just add this portion on here to make it a whole new product so well done on that and very sneaky on the little ledge in there that makes it so that only their refills fit. So do you have a litter disposal system for your cats? What do you do? Tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and we'll see you next time.